the function of the mitosis are cellular reproduction and general growth and repair of the body. That's the steps of mitosis are interface, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytogenesis. During interphase, before mitosis begins, each chromosome is doubled. During metaphase, the nuclear membrane dissolves and the paired chromatids align to the, at the cell's equator and attach to the spindle fibers. During prophase, chromosomes condense from long strands into rod-like structures. During prophase, chromosomes condense from long strands into rod-like structures. During telophase, the nuclear membrane forms around each set of chromosomes and they condense. At this, at this point, mitosis is complete. Meiosis 1 consists of two consecutive nuclear division, which result in four haploid nuclei. The difference between mitosis and meiosis happens early within the first prophase. Mitosis cells are independent. In meiosis, two homologous chromosomes pair up tightly. This diploid nucleus has two pairs of homologous chromosomes. During prophase 1, there's a genetic crossover within the chromosomes. Metaphase begins as pairs of chromosome pair together. Here's the second key difference in mitosis and meiosis. In the mitosis, the chromatid separate and in the meiosis, the homologous pairs separate. The chromosomes may move to the poles as anaphase 1 takes place, which splits the number of chromosomes from diploid to haploid. Then begins meiosis 2, which is very similar to meiosis 1. The only difference in meiosis 2 is that in anaphase, the chromatids separate. At the end of meiosis 2, we, could, uh, we have four nuclei, each with half the chromosomes of the original nucleus, and all differ genetically from others.